everybody welcome to bass and bonsai today we're going to style up one of these trees on the table i think javier he's not going to help me he's i don't know what he's doing he's nuts but anyway we've got some wire bonsai trees at some point i may show you guys a video on how i did those they're real easy to make you can stick them on a rock uh you can do whatever you want this is one of my first ones this is another little crazy one that's something to do mess around with over the winter but today we're going to get in here and take one of these guys put it in a pot style it up so buckle up, hang on, wish me luck, here we go. And one day I'm gonna do it. He ain't doing it. Oh my god! Hey, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Probably would have been a six pounder a little while back when the oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna go sit in the naughty chair? Topper. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with this guy here that came from Plant City Bonsai. And you can see we got some work to do here. We got this chunk of deadwood coming out here that's just been cut straight off. There's a big chunk there. Uh, some deadwood up in here already. We do have a little branch alive on there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll take out all of this grass and junk just so I can see what's in there now this one is already been styled somewhat it's already kind of headed that way towards becoming a bonsai it just wasn't a, one of these garden junipers we went and bought somebody already cut it here and here they kind of just let that grow it's also been cut here that kind of looks nasty we'll need to do something to that and make it look a little bit uh, more natural and we'll figure out if I want to leave all these branches or pull any down, move them, twist them, wire them up, whatever we want to do here. I'm thinking this guy, this is the deepest one I have, and it is a black pie, would go okay. And if you guys can make out how deep. Now, the thing is, I think I want to turn, I think I want to bring this thing up. Start working on some of the tree. Then when I get down to the roots, we'll figure out the exact pot I want. Now I still don't use a ton of tools, if you guys can make out these tools right here. I've got the cool kit like, so on this tree, the first thing I've noticed is that, you know, over the period of time, maybe even since I've had it slowly washed away more, these roots definitely aren't doing anything. They're attached to this dead part of this tree, so, and which I knew they were, they're totally dead. And these upper roots that aren't really, you see that, it's just falling apart they're they're not attached to anything just dead stuff so i'm going to work down this tree may get wider and you can see we can probably plant this thing and it'll look just it'll have a little wider stance base to it and i may pull just a little bit off but if it starts looking like it's going to narrow back up i'll fill it back in whenever i get it planted in whatever angle so the next thing i want to do is i just want to peel this bark off this dead wood I don't want to break any more often there that I may end up making flush this stuff that's already dead is actually harder to work with that's why I recommend when you're creating one and you first kill it off you want to peel all the bark off Go ahead and try to shape it if you need to twist it then because once it gets here it's kind of it's hardened up it, it won't move and it's going to be brittle a little harder to work with these work good when it comes in here and you want to shape some of this you can grab and twist and peel these seem to do a very good job at that you just want to get this thing looking more natural and get that straight cut that someone's made on it completely gone and I got my old trusties out they uh they're a little rusty but they tend to work better for getting around some of these bigger branches I'm going to continue with some of this I'm also going to get back if you guys can see this one I'm going to work on it also Basically the same thing, peel off the dead bark, and then take this flat part, and we'll 
get it torn off into a sharper, more natural looking point. And sometimes the Swiss Army knife comes in handy. If you just need to scrape off some of that junk. You see the old knife comes in handy on some of this dead stuff. It's pretty delicate. I may lose some of these and may snap off. They're pretty small. If they stay, they stay. They look pretty cool, but I'm not really concerned if they don't. This big one here will be enough of the feature there. The main concern is I don't want it to rot anymore. I want you know either hard dead wood or the live veins and that way the you know, won't set and hold the moisture for it to just rot away the wood as easy. Plus it just looks better when you can make out exactly what's going on with the tree. I've cleared off quite a bit more of the dead wood. I've given some of the stuff up here. And this one here still has this little thing living on it. So I think I'm going to try to leave it. Now here's what's the problem I've run into. I also see a little bit of the vein right here and with all this going on, I think this is the front. Problem is this thing right here, this long branch, see that? If I make the front, which I'm thinking should be right here, this is where the most movement you see is. I think this thing needs to go bye-bye. I'm not sure where I could take it without, I think so I'm gonna just kill it off. This guy right here, I think I'm just gonna drop down a little to where it just sits just on top of the dead wood. Now this, I think, is gonna be the, my new apex. This branch right here, I'm gonna twist up, bring this one, leave it there, bring it down, uh, and then bring this over top of the dead wood as the apex, bring this one, which this branch will be out of the way, bring it down a little bit. So a wire basically is what is a branch coming off with three other uh, directions, and wire that, that'll be the main part of the tree with this branch, and then this back part, after I get those done, I'll move, and this is the most lively part of the whole tree. I'll move it in such a way to, you know, fill in any gap in the back. And in the process, I think I need to bring the whole tree, instead of leaving it like that, I think I need to bring it up and add us like this, then bring that up. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'll bring the tree up and then wire this up into here. I'm going to need to do some wiring, and that is ugly. You don't want to see that. So I'll be back. So I'll show you how I'm going to do kill off this branch, and then I'll go to the wiring. But sorry, this guy is just not anywhere where I want him to be, so I'll just kill him off like so. Bye-bye, little guy. You'll be missed. And then... Turn this into deadwood, figure out how long I want to leave that. This is going to be the new front, so I don't want it too long sticking out. Javier is helping me out, by the way. That'll probably be good enough. Let's take the bark off that. All right, still haven't wired yet. I keep talking about wiring, but before I do, I gotta thin out this back branch before I'm done. So I like some of the branching that's going on here. We got some of it that's dead and dying off. We don't really even want to keep. So I'm gonna cut it off. That part's just dead. And then we have so I'll leave that. Then I have this one. There's a couple of them that are long. Like 
this guy right here, I'm going to thin down at least to, whoa, to there. And I think this guy I'm going to take completely off. It's too much. Don't need all that in the back. May take out a little more. The top I don't know yet because that's going to be the apex. This guy that I want to bring down has the stuff growing straight up. I don't want that. I want this one growing down here, this one out here, but then there's all this stuff growing straight up. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to snip those off. So when I wire this up, take it down just a hair, and then it'll be pretty much set how I want it. Don't need a lot. I'll clear out some of these bottom ones by hand. On the branches, you kind of you can wire them, or you can cut off. Like if it's growing straight up, cut it, or if it's growing you know down and under, cut it or pick it off. And it kind of gives you a cool foliage pad already. Let's wire it up. Oh well, I've shown you everything else. I may show you my nasty wiring jobs I do, but you try to stick with two branches per wire. So if you're wiring, I'm going to wire this branch in the back one. So I'm going to have one piece of wire, and I'll start it pretty much in the middle and then you want to wire you kind of try to wire if I'm going this way then I want to go that way with that one but you can if you if you want to twist it this way you need to have the spirals wrapped this way to where as you twist it it's tightening not you don't want to loosen once you've wrapped it so this one I'm gonna bring down and up a little so I think I'm gonna need them wrapped this way to kind of do what I'm doing so that's the way I'm gonna do it and it's you want to do it that way, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. And you do want to try to hold about a 45 degree angle, holding your hand. You don't want the branch to snap. You don't want to pinch any foliage if you can keep from it. It's not the end of the world on a you know fairly new bonsai tree. If you do get some, like that little one there is probably going to be dead anyway. It's twisted around. And on this tree, I'm going to try to wire this up as much as I can because it needs to move a little so bear with me while I do this it's kind of a awkward deal to do let alone try to do and record that's why I usually just don't even bother to try to record it but as I'm developing further along I try to incorporate more of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it into every video, so I figure I better start doing this. And it does not have to be perfect. I know you watch a lot of these professionals on YouTube even that make it look awesome and easy and you just need to get the wire on there without scarring up the bark. Fairly tight and just where it'll get the job done. It'll get the branch bent where you want it to. That's the main goal of the wire. Let it sit on there for about a year, then take it off. The better it looks, the better, but it's not the end of the world if it doesn't look that great. Somebody's trying to get a hold of me. And I don't think I'm even going to probably keep that part, but just in case, I'll try not to. like that cut the end off now that's wired now we got to go to the back branch since I went this way I'm not even sure which way I'm gonna go this one I am gonna go just this way with it like I mentioned this is a hard thing to do let alone try to do and show you with the camera 
exactly what I'm doing. This one goes into several smaller ones right here. I think I'm just going to stop it. Now you can go continue on to one of these other branches if you wanted to. And I may go ahead and take it on around to this. And then since I've got enough wire to continue on to this one be able to bend it just a little further along where it needs to go I'll probably go ahead and do that and it somewhere right in there so we now have two of the branches wired now got it wrapped around the bigger part over and under now I'm going to bring them both together and take them this band I want to leave alone I don't want to try to hardly twe tweak that at all so I'm gonna leave it there but I do want to start my wire and I'm doubling it just so these two wires I can get this moved to where I need it to and I'm kind of having a hard time trying to get it bent the way I need to and be able to show you so you may not be able to see all of this all right we're back now what I need to do is get this thing figured out where I want it to set and I have some blocks somewhere. I have no idea where I put them. Luckily, I have my crazy rock thing. So I think I want this thing to be angled something like that. I'm going to bring you guys back a little bit now. Hopefully, you can see what I was going on earlier. So now we're going to look at this and we're going to bend it. I think this, I need to find the best front. I think I want the deadwood back and then come in this way just a hair. But then we hide this deadwood. It's hard to pick a front a lot of times. You just got to make a decision and stick with it. And you can, you can change it later on. Stick with it for the styling you're working on. So... We're gonna stick with that for now. So I'm gonna bring this here over down. Bring this I think down this way and come back. Something like that. And that one. Uh, the back one, since I'm going to bring this kind of up and over, I th and I have this here, I think I'm going to bring this down and over that way on the back. I don't know if I've got enough wire. I may need to double wire this back branch. basically just want it down and out of the way for the most part you guys are getting all this let me get this part up now this I'm gonna bring I think I want to try to keep this branch in between these two pieces of deadwood I don't think I've got enough movement to get it over the top of that this branch will be right in the way Sometimes you run into problems that you just got to solve, which is pretty easy. I think this chunk here that I was trying to leave is not going to work. So we'll take it completely out of the picture. I think this branch is going to have to make a big move down. bring this one down I think 
I need to bring it back and down. I can thin it out. As I go, Starting to look like a bonsai tree. I got it way too shaggy. All right, we're taking all this off. There's too much going on in there. Leave this guy. Gonna even twist this up even more. That's where this guy's kind of hanging out by himself. Apex needs to I think, twist down and then turn itself back up. What do you guys think? I think this needs to come way down, don't you? All right, now I didn't cut any of the roots. I got this crazy long one. I don't. I think I'm gonna leave all the roots because I can. I just cleaned enough of the root ball out to where it'll set in here and I'll mount it up to it and I think that's gonna look good for us. So let me get over there and get this thing potted up, get the angle, which is probably right about there. And Take one final look at it. I might do a little tweaking here or there, but we're running out of daylight. All right, everyone, we are done. Hopefully you can make this tree out in all of its glory. Good shots of this tree, so I figured I'd just wait and come out here in the morning. Hopefully you guys can make out just how cool this tree is. Did a lot to it. I could still do more like this right here I'm tempted to just cut it off now shorten pretty much condense everything down except for the apex and bend it around I've got a flat spot here I'll probably bring this one over there's a little bit growing right here if you guys can make that one out I'll probably let it grow out and as it does I'll just pull that over to right in here but hopefully You guys can see that this is a dramatic difference from what we started with. Just that kind of a bush looking thing. You know, it looked kind of cool, but wasn't really much of anything yet that we started with from Plant City Bonsai. But they have awesome material to start with. And just in one quick couple hour styling, you can get it looking like this. And, you know, has some pretty cool and dramatic features. This right in here looks awesome got a lot of going on so hopefully you like this quick video it's pretty quick on styling up a tree if I do say so myself hit that like button subscribe to the channel help share this channel and like always guys thanks for watching let's go fishing get out and buy some bombs out very nice guy okay. <laughs>